Throughout their long lives, the Stoics developed an understanding of human nature, which included the intricate psychology of women. They held the view that true power came from mastering oneself and one's interactions with the outside world, rather than from attempting to control others. This age-old wisdom can be applied to contemporary situations, particularly when it comes to intimacy and attraction. In this episode, we'll look at how to sit close to a woman and build an unstoppable magnetic pole that will make 99% of girls feel attracted to you. These aren't simply pointers for getting physically close. We're also exploring the psychological and emotional elements that contribute to the potency of these encounters, such as reading body language and recognizing the subliminal signs of desire. You will gain mastery over the art of connection with each chapter. Watch until the very end to see everything. And if you think this video is valuable, please remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts. Let's start with chapter one and tell your stories if you have any. You are seated near sitting near to a lady is more than just getting closer. It's about fostering an aura of intimacy that transcends words. The intimacy you create paves the way for a deeper relationship, one that has its foundation in nonverbal communication and subtle psychological cues. When you decide to sit close to her, you are intentionally entering her personal space, and if done well, this can create an attraction that words alone might not be able to. The confidence with which you sit close is one of the most important factors. Here, confidence is crucial. Any hint of hesitancy or anxiety can easily destroy the situation. Women are particularly sensitive to the energy you give off, so any doubt might make them feel uneasy. The Stoics, who were experts in emotional restraint and self-control, would stress the significance of keeping your cool under pressure. They hold that a man should always be in complete control of himself, especially when he is near someone he desires. This entails maintaining composure and controlling your body language by sitting close to someone with assurance and ease. By doing this, you communicate that you are at ease with intimacy, which can help her feel more at ease and open to connecting with you. However, it's crucial to keep in mind that sitting close isn't just about where you physically are. Place yourself. It's also about how you position your body in relation to hers. Lean in slightly just enough to suggest interest, but not so much that it feels intrusive. This slight lean can convey warmth and engagement without coming across as overly eager or desperate. Your body language should be open and relaxed facing her but not crowding her space. This delicate balance between closeness and respect is what makes your presence feel inviting rather than overwhelming when done right. This can make her more receptive to your presence and more likely to engage with you on a deeper level. Additionally, sitting close allows you to pick up on her subtle cues more easily. This is where your observational skills come into play. Notice how she reacts to your proximity. Does she lean in closer, maintain eye contact, or perhaps play with her hair? These are all signs that she's comfortable and possibly even attracted to you. Being able to recognize these cues is essential because they will guide your next moves. Another benefit of sitting close is the chance it provides to create a shared moment. If she is displaying good signs, it's an invitation to keep developing the connection. On the other hand, if she appears uneasy or aloof, it can be a hint to give her a little more room. Sitting close to a woman is about more than just physical proximity. It's about creating a space where intimacy can flourish. It's about being confident, respectful, and observant. By mastering the art of sitting close, you set the stage for a deeper connection that can lead to genuine reaction. The Stoics understood that true power comes from within, and by harnessing that inner strength you can create powerful connections with others, including the women you desire. Whether you're watching something together, whispering a private joke, or just feeling the warmth of each other's presence, this shared space is where connections are deepened and where the seeds of attraction are planted. Section 2. Maintain Her Interest when you sit close to a woman, it's important to maintain her interest. The first few inches set the tone, but it takes more than that to keep her interest. You need to create a dynamic interaction that captivates her. Women are drawn to men who can keep their minds and emotions engaged. 
The Stoics, who were experts in mastering the art of conversation and human connection, would suggest that this is the moment to demonstrate your emotional and intellectual depth. To do this, steer the conversation toward lighthearted, banter and interesting topics that aren't overly serious. Intriguing questions and shared experiences can also help to keep the conversation lively and engaging. Instead of trying to control the conversation or impress her with big stories, focus on making her feel at ease and eager to participate. The more you can keep her involved in the conversation, the more she will associate your presence with positive feelings, which is crucial for helping her feel connected to you. Body language also plays a big part in keeping her interested, so when you're sitting close, Use subtle gestures to support what you're saying. Maintaining strong eye contact or applying a gentle touch to her arm when making a point will improve the connection. The Stoics trusted in the efficacy of nonverbal cues. Realizing that sometimes times what you say matters just as much as what you don't. Keep her interested by demonstrating through your body language that you are confident and attentive and that you are listening to her completely. When she shares something, Thoughtfully respond and ask follow-up questions that demonstrate your genuine interest. This doesn't just keep the conversation going. It also makes her feel valued and understood, which can deepen the emotional connection. Women are often more attracted to men who listen intently than those who simply wait for their turn to speak. The Stoics would advise you to engage in active listening since it fosters rapport and shows empathy and respect. As the discussion goes on, don't be hesitant to add a little mystery. Talk about intriguing parts of your life, but don't give away too much or imply that there's more to your tale than what you're revealing. This subtle play of withholding information can pee her curiosity and make her more invested in getting to know you better. Women unnaturally curious creatures, and by keeping certain parts of your life under wraps, you create a sense of intrigue that draws her in. Finally, be aware of the balance between speaking and silence. Sometimes a comfortable silence can be just as powerful as words when you're sitting. Close silence can create a moment of tension or anticipation which can be incredibly attractive. The Stoics valued the art of silence recognizing that it's often in these quiet moments that the deepest connections are formed by embracing silence. You allow the tension to build, making the next words you say even more impactful. In summary, Keeping her engaged while sitting close is about more than just conversation. It's about creating an experience that is intellectually stimulating, emotionally fulfilling, and slightly mysterious. By mastering the art of engaging her mind and emotions, you make her more invested in the interaction, increasing her attraction to you. Section 3 As you maintain her interest, smoothly incorporate buoyancy. It's crucial to progressively incorporate flirting into the conversation. As the Stoics would advise, true confidence comes from within, and that your flotation should be a natural extension of your self-assuredness, not a forced or desperate attempt to win her over. Start by increasing the intensity of your eye contact. When you're sitting close, maintaining eye contact can create a deeper sense of intimacy and connection. Flirting is an art that, when done right, can create a powerful connection and increase her attraction to you. However, it's crucial to approach this step with subtlety and finesse. Allow your eyes to stay on them for a little longer than normal, and don't hesitate to grin a little. Perform a lip play. The Stoics believed in the power of subtlety, understanding that the most powerful messages are often those that are unsaid. Once you've established a comfortable level of eye contact, start to introduce playful teasing into the conversation. This nonverbal cue is often the first step in flirtation, signaling that you're interested without saying a word. A playful and flirtatious atmosphere can be created with light-hearted teasing. It demonstrates your confidence to make light of her and yourself without taking things too seriously. The secret is to keep the teasing light and avoid doing anything that could be interpreted as mean-spirited. The idea is to make her laugh, smile, and feel comfortable with you, in addition to verbally taunting her. Add some light-hearted informal touches. For example, if she laughs or jokes, gently touch her arm or shoulder. These simple gestures can complement the verbal communication by establishing a physical connection. One touch can convey interest and establish a feeling of intimacy, making it an effective seduction tactic. 
The Stoics, a person who values human connection, would advise you to be aware of how your touch is received and to watch her body language. If she reacts well, you can proceed. If not, it's crucial to back off and show her respect. Limits As the conversation gets flirty, you can start to congratulate her on something you truly love, like her smile. However, these should be particular and sincere rather than general or unduly suggestive. Her sincere compliments or her sense of humor might make her feel special and valued, which is an important part of creating attraction. Lastly, as the flotation becomes more intense, start to build tension by pausing the conversation occasionally to just gaze at her. These pauses can generate a feeling of excitement and anticipation that makes the exchange feel more intense and personal. In conclusion, the Stoics recognize that stress is a normal component of human contact and that, when handled skillfully, it may heighten feelings and strengthen bonds. Introducing floating involves progressively raising eye contact to make her feel valued and captivated while striking a balance between confidence and subtlety. You can establish a flirty mood that strengthens the bond and increases her attraction to you by teasing her playfully and utilizing light touches. Chapter 4 Initiating physical contact can be an effective nonverbal communication strategy to show interest and develop intimacy, but it calls for a careful balance of confidence. Tact and Deference One of the easiest methods to signal desire is through physical touch, but it needs to be done mindfully to make sure that it strengthens rather than weakens the relationship. To ensure that your touch is both accepted and appreciated, the Stoics, who are renowned for their wisdom in navigating human situations, would advise that such gestures be anchored in respect and awareness. The secret to starting a conversation or introducing touch is to be present in the moment. Look for opportunities to engage in light, non-intrusive touch, such as sharing a joke or laughing together. These moments should feel natural and unforced, aligning with the Stoic principle of living in harmony with the flow of events. For example, when you're showing her something on your phone or handing her a drink, let your fingers lightly brush against hers. These small, seemingly insignificant touches can help establish a sense of closeness without seeming pushy. When you do introduce touch, start with the lightest possible touch. A quick touch on her hand or a gentle brush against hers can express your interest. The Stoics valued restraint and understood the value of subtlety in action. In this situation, the gentleness of your touch enables her to sense your attention without feeling compelled or overpowered. If she smiles, keeps eye contact, or does not move away, it can be interpreted as she is at ease and open to additional touch. You can progressively increase the frequency and intensity of your touches once you've reached a comfort level. Shift from brief, accidental contact to more intentional gestures, like gently holding her hand for a longer period of time or running your fingers along the back of her hand. These actions should still be subtle and gentle, in keeping with the stoic ideal of moderation. The goal is to create a gradual progression of intimacy, letting her adjust to the increased closeness at her own pace. It's important to be aware of her reactions at every turn. If she holds your hand, leans in closer, or makes more physical contact herself, it's a clear sign that she's enjoying the exchange and feels at ease with you. If she pulls away, tenses up, or appears uncomfortable, it's important to respect her boundaries and not press. The Stoics highlighted the value of self-control and restraint, which in this situation is understanding when to back off and give her space. It's also critical to recognize the emotional context of your touch. Physical contact is more than just a mechanical act. It's a means of expressing your intentions and feelings. When you touch her hands or fingers, you're expressing warmth, care, and connection. The Stoics believed in the power of intention, so in this situation, your goal should be to create a positive emotional experience for her that strengthens your bond and increases her comfort. You should also think carefully about the timing and setting of your touch. The Stoics would remind you to be aware of the context and to make sure that your actions are appropriate for the situation. The atmosphere around you can significantly influence how your touch is perceived. For example, 
a light touch during a quiet, intimate conversation will likely have a different impact than the same touch in a more public or noisy environment. In summary, establishing light touch is a delicate process that requires confidence, attentiveness, and a deep respect for her boundaries and feelings. By beginning with brief, subtle touches and gradually increasing the intensity, you can create a sense of intimacy that deepens the connection and enhances her attraction to you. The Stoics would advise that in all things, especially in matters of the heart, one must act with wisdom, patience, and a clear intention to build something meaningful and lasting. Chapter 5 Whisper In Her Lastly, keep in mind that initiating touch is not about rushing into physical contact but about building a connection that feels natural and mutual. The goal is to make her feel valued and understood rather than to assert dominance or control. Whispering in a woman's ear while you're seated next to her is a very private and powerful approach to establish a closer bond. Whispering not only gets you closer to her physically, but it also gives her shivers since she can hear your voice so close to her ear. To ensure that this strategy has the desired effect, however, careful timing of delivery and a profound grasp of the situation are necessary. The timing of your whisper is vital. It should occur after the conversation has already established a degree of comfort and closeness. The Stoics, who are renowned for their mastery of measured speech and their profound understanding of the power of words, would advise that the content and tone of what you whisper are just as important as the act itself. Whispering too soon can feel too close, which could make the moment uneasy. Maybe you're sharing a private joke with her, or you want to say something that's only meant for her ears. When whispering, it's important to observe the conversation's flow and emotional tone before leaning in. When you do decide to whisper, the content of your words is paramount. The Stoics valued patience and the capacity to read the room, which in this case means waiting for the ideal moment when whispering feels natural and appropriate. It is important to choose your words carefully in order to strengthen the bond and make her feel unique and valued, regardless of whether you decide to share a compliment, a clever comment, or something that only the two of you understand. The way you say something can often have a greater impact than the content itself. A gentle, almost breathy tone can make the moment feel more personal and charged with emotion. The Stoics believed in the power of words to shape relationships, and this is a prime example of how that power can be wielded effectively. What you say should resonate with her on an emotional level, creating a shared moment that strengthens the bond between you. You should also be careful with the tone of your voice when whispering. It should be warm, inviting, and softly warm. The Stoics would counsel you to pay attention to how you present your ideas, since it conveys more than just the words. The Stoics valued moderation in all things, and in this case that means striking the right balance between closeness and respect for her personal space. Your tone should carry the weight of your feelings, subtly expressing your interest and attraction. Your body language is also a key component of the moment as you lean into whisper. Your intention is to establish a moment of connection rather than to make her feel crowded or uncomfortable. You can achieve this by gently leaning in and tilting your head slightly. These small gestures can add layers of meaning to the whisper, making it more than just words. After you've whispered in her ear, it's important to watch her reaction. If she smiles, laughs, or reacts positively, it's obvious that she appreciated the gesture and is likely feeling more connected to you as a result. However, if she appears surprised or uncomfortable, it's crucial to recognize this and modify your approach accordingly. The Stoics believed in the significance of adapting to the situation, and in this case that means being aware of her responses and respecting her boundaries. It's advisable to calm down and switch back to a more neutral style of discourse if she appears uncomfortable. The emotional context of the whisper is another important consideration. When you whisper in her ear, you're not only establishing physical contact, but also sending a message of warmth, care, and intimacy. Whispering is more than simply a physical gesture. It's a way to transmit emotions and strengthen the emotional connection. The Stoics believed in the power of intention, and in this case, your intention should be to create a positive and intimate emotional experience for her. Your whisper should also make her feel valued and understood, 
strengthening the emotional bond between you. Furthermore, the impact of a well-timed whisper can go beyond the immediate moment. It can create a lasting memory, a private moment that the two of you share that he may look back on with fondness later. This shared experience can become a touchstone in your relationship, something that reinforces the connection between you. And the Stoics would appreciate the lasting impact of such moments because they understood the significance of strengthening meaningful relationships through thoughtful and deliberate actions. In addition to the initial whisper, consider the possibility of building on this moment with additional whispers throughout your interaction as the evening goes on. Whispering as a recurrent motif that draws her in and strengthens the bond each time might establish an intimate rhythm where each whisper, conclusively, whispering in her ear while you're sitting close is a powerful and intimate way to deepen the connection and create a memorable experience. Carefully choosing the right moment. The Stoics believed in the value of consistency and perseverance. In this case, that means consistently reinforcing the connection through your actions and words. When you use this technique with confidence and sensitivity, you can make her feel special, appreciated, and drawn to you by speaking in a warm and gentle tone, paying close attention to her reactions, and understanding the emotional context. The Stoics would remind you that in every interaction, especially one as intimate as this, your words, tone, and intention should all work together to create a positive and lasting impact. Section 6. It's important to pay special attention to how she responds to your advances as you continue to establish a connection through close discussion and discreet touches. Read her reciprocation. The Stoics, as astute observers of human behavior, would advise that this step requires patience, awareness, and a deep respect for her feelings and boundaries. Reading her reciprocation correctly is key to determining whether she's genuinely interested and comfortable with the direction the interaction is taking. Begin by paying attention to her body language. If she is leaning in closer, following your motions, or keeping eye contact, these are indications that, in contrast, if she's backing away, it could mean she's at ease and even interested in you. She may not be as at ease or interested as you had imagined if she crosses her arms or avoids making eye contact. The Stoics advocated for being perceptive to social cues and perceptive to body language. They also believe that actions often speak louder than words. Pay attention to her verbal cues and whether she laughs at your jokes. The Stoics valued open and honest communication, which includes the ability to read between the lines of what is said and unsaid reciprocation, also extends to how she reacts to physical touch. Positive verbal responses indicate that she's engaged in the conversation and enjoys your company. However, if her responses are brief, hesitant, or if she frequently changes the subject, you might suggest that she's not fully invested in the interaction. She will respond differently if you initiate light touches or lean in to whisper, maintain physical proximity, or even start a conversation. These are clear signs that she is drawn to you and comfortable with the degree of intimacy. However, if she withdraws or acts stiff when you touch her, you should respect her boundaries and not press the issue further. The Stoics emphasize the value of moderation and self-control, which in this case is not pressuring an interaction that isn't mutually beneficial. Another thing to think about is how the interaction is going overall. Does she look happy and content, or is she uptight, preoccupied, or uninterested? You can tell a lot about how she's feeling by how she's smiling and interacting with you. The Stoics placed a high value on harmony and balance in relationships, and part of that balance is figuring out when things are moving forward naturally and when they aren't. Lastly, pay attention to her comfort level. Even if she's accepting your advances, it's important to make sure she's not just complying for the sake of being polite. In conclusion, the Stoics stress the significance of empathy and understanding in all interactions, which entails being aware of her needs and feelings and prepared to slow down or alter course if necessary. By closely observing her body language, verbal cues, and overall comfort level, you can determine whether she is interested and comfortable, enabling you to navigate the interaction in a way that respects her boundaries and strengthens the connection.
Reading her reciprocation is about being observant, respectful, and responsive to her signals. Section 7. Take it further, if there is an opportunity. If you've carefully read her signals and determined that she's reciprocating your interest, the next step is to take the interaction further if the opportunity presents itself. This is where things can potentially move from flirtation to something more intimate. However, it's crucial to proceed with caution and sensitivity, ensuring that any advances you make are welcomed and appreciated. The Stoics would remind you that true wisdom lies in knowing when to act and when to hold back, making sure that your actions are in harmony with the situation. The first step in taking things further is to be attuned to the moment. Look for signs that she's open to deepening the connection such as lingering eye contact, subtle touches, or a more intimate tone in the conversation. If the atmosphere feels right, you might consider moving closer or making a bolder gesture such as holding her hand or brushing her hair back from her face. The Stoics believed in the importance of being present and fully engaged in the moment. And this is especially true when deciding to take an interaction to the next level before making any significant moves. It's important to ensure that there is a clear mutual interest. If she has consistently conveyed her comfort level and interest in you through her words and actions, ask yourself if there is any reason to doubt her, or if her signals have been erratic. The Stoics valued caution, caution and self-control, understanding that it's better to pass up a chance than run the risk of going too far. If the opportunity does appear right, take cautious but confident action. It's important to communicate clearly and honestly. If you're feeling a strong connection and want to take things further, it's okay to express that verbally. You could say something like, I really enjoy spending time with you, or I feel a strong connection between us. This not only clarifies your intentions, but also gives her the chance to express how she's feeling. If you decide to initiate a kiss, for example, do so slowly and gain her response. If she responds positively, you can't proceed. If she hesitates or pulls away, respect her boundaries and don't push her further. The Stoics thought that, since the Stoics taught us to focus on what is within our control, our actions and reactions, rather than trying to control the outcome, we should respect her decision and continue to treat her with kindness and respect if she is not ready or interested. Ultimately, be prepared to accept her response, whatever it may be. If she is open to taking things further, Great. If not, accept her decision gracefully and without pressure. Taking it a step further when the chance arises involves striking a balance between assertiveness and deference, making sure that your actions complement her preferences and degree of comfort, and being present in the moment. As we come to the end of this episode, it's evident that developing a strong connection with someone requires a blend of subtlety, confidence, and respect for each of the techniques we've covered. Sitting close, maintaining interest, initiating light touch, whispering in her ear, reading her responses, and knowing when to take it further. By communicating clearly and respecting her boundaries, you can deepen the connection in a way that feels natural and mutually satisfying. The Stoics taught us that balance and comprehension are essential to human connection. By keeping these things in mind, you can foster sincere, polite conversations in addition to profound connections. Keep in mind that the objective is to establish a safe and trusting environment where you and your partner can explore the connection without feeling pressed or uncomfortable. If you thought these thoughts were insightful, remember to watch through to the very finish. Additionally, watch our channel for more advice and tricks. Thank you for joining us today and until next time. Please share your experiences and tales in the comments below about how you have applied these strategies in your own life. Your feedback helps us generate content that connects with you and others who are on the journey of mastering the art of connection. Continue to practice being respectful and subtle in your encounters. I'll see you in the following episode.